Hi, welcome to The Mix, the Teen Center at the San Francisco Public Library. My name is Eliana and I'm a librarian and your humble host for our STEM Challenge Yourself series with our amazing cast of librarians. We are here to share some creative projects and STEM experiments that you can try at home. In today's challenge, you are gonna see something grow before your very eyes. You're also gonna see how you might be able to drink it later. I'm gonna let our challenge master walk you through the steps and the science. I think you're ready. Take it away. Hello, scientists. I'm librarian Anita. And today we are going to answer the question, can you make an expanding blob of goo and then drink it? For this experiment, you will need two tablespoons of chia seeds, water, a glass measuring cup or jar that holds at least one cup so you can see your progress, and a spoon for mixing. Let's get started. These little specks are actually chia seeds. They come from this plant, the chia plant, Salvia hispanica, which is in the mint family. These plants grow in central and southern Mexico, is their native home. And they are pretty amazing. Let's do some experimentation. First, I'm going to take my tablespoon and measure out two tablespoons of chia seeds into my measuring cup. I am also just going to put these on the side as a comparison. And we're going to see how much water these chia seeds are going to absorb. I'm going to start with two tablespoons, the same amount as the seeds themselves. All right. Stir, stir, stir. Right now, it's pretty watery. doesn't look like much has changed about the seeds, but you will notice after a while that the texture of them starts to change and thicken. They're getting goopy. They're getting, dare I say, slimy. And this paste, it was liquid and now it's a paste and it's getting thicker and thicker. Ew. Let's see if we can have it absorb some more water. I'm going to put two tablespoons more. And you can see that these seeds seem to be expanding to take up all the space. And they have like a syrupy consistency now. It's kind of runny, but there's no water separating out from the seeds. It takes the seeds some time to absorb the water, but once you add the initial doses, then it just goes pretty quickly. We can even add one more quarter cup of water and see if it can absorb that as well. So right now, it's kind of runny, our chia water mixture, but if you let it sit for a while, it will again thicken up. Chia seeds have a gel-like covering on them that absorbs water. It, scientists call this a mucilaginous coat. And if you think about the climate that chia seeds are native to where they usually grow. It's hot, a hot, uh, dry climate in central and southern Mexico, where
where the, the plants are native to. And it kind of makes sense that whenever the chia seeds came into contact with water, that they would soak it all up and try to keep it so that they could use it for sprouting. So now that we have this wonderful pile of goop, what can we do with it? I have two suggestions for you. First, let's try a sprouting experiment. For this, you are going to need a dish. Any dish will work. You can use a, a plain old dish from your cupboard. I'm going to use a plastic takeout container. You also need a clear covering. And this plastic takeout container came with a clear covering. That's why I'm using it. But you can also use saran wrap or just like a clear paper bag. You just need something to help keep in the moisture. And you also need a paper towel. And you need some water. So what I'm going to do with the paper towel is first, I'm going to fold it to fit my container. And then I'm going to wet it with water. I want it completely saturated and damp, but not so wet that the water's coming out of it. So I'm just going to carefully pour until everything's nice and damp. That looks good. And now I'm going to take a spoonful of my plumped up chia seeds. I'm going to spread them out with my spoon over the paper towel. There you have it. You'll want to put a cover on this, your clear cover, and set it in a sunny place in your house next to a window is really good. And let it sit for a couple of days. Check it once a day just to make sure that it's not drying out. If it is drying out, add a little bit more water. And then you'll just have to wait and see what happens. However, I do have some examples to show you. So let me bring them out. So here's the one we made today, and here's one that I did two days ago, two days old. And you can see that there are some little white specks poking out of a whole bunch of these chia seeds. They're alive. They're starting to grow. I see white little roots, I guess. I'm going to guess that they're roots. And some of them have kind of a little furry appearance to them. It's pretty cool. Let's see another example. Here's an example I planted a week ago. And as you can see, we have full-fledged little plants here. I can see green leaves, long, light green stems. I can see roots, and some of the roots have grown so that they're making their way off of the paper towel. That's pretty cool. So it's really easy to do sprouting with chia seeds at home. You can try planting these seeds in the soil. You can try eating them if you want. They're perfectly edible. So that leads me to the second thing that I would like to suggest for you to do with this pile of goo here. You can make a traditional agua fresca from Mexico called agua de, limo, de limón con chía. And this is it, the recipe of how to make it. The last ingredient is our chia seeds, the two tablespoons of chia seeds that have been plumped up in one cup of water. I'm going to pour them in and stir it up. This is a very refreshing drink that is served all over Mexico. And the chia seeds have a really interesting texture in the drink. They don't add a whole lot of flavor, but they're almost like little tiny boba uh, if you've ever had a bubble tea, they're, they're, they have that same kind of gelatinous texture. 
that you can kind of crunch in your mouth and it has a little tiny crunchy seed at the center of it. And it's really, really healthy too. So that's all for me today. Please enjoy your lemonade. To you, Ileana. Thanks, Anita. So you have two experiments that you could try out. You can try out sprouting with chia seeds or you can try making your own agua fresca de limón con chia. It is delicious. Be sure to check out more about this STEM Challenge Yourself and other ones that we have, plus resource tips, lists, and tricks for you at sfpl.org slash STEM Challenge. Keep experimenting and stay STEM-tastic.